Finally, the Rock has come back. <sighs> to the WWE. <sighs> So yeah, you saw last night's Raw, The Rock is finally coming back to a professional wrestler. After what? I think he said seven years he's been out doing movies and shit. Doing video games, did Spider on the game. All those movies he did, you know. They were, I don't know, I saw some, they were pretty good, you know. He isn't a bad actor. But we just missed him at wrestling, man. I started watching wrestling around like WWF. I started watching that shit, WWE. I started watching it around, um. Was it like around 07, 08? That's when I started watching it. I remember I saw when, when Eddie, Eddie and the Chris Benoit died. I, I was there for that shit. Then sometime I just stopped watching it. Then I started watching it last, uh, late last year. You were on December. I started with TNA and I went to see what WWE was all about. And what's going on with WWE right now? They're fucking horrible right now. I'm not saying they're. I am, I am saying they're. They're fucking horrible. They're not entertaining anymore. You know, like. If you watch old clips, I'm not saying like, oh, the rock is in there, Stone Cold is in there, it's sucky, it sucks. I'm not, I'm not trying not to be that that guy. But if you look at the if you look at old clips from like the Attitude Era and shit, and how exciting it was. I mean, if you don't know the storyline, but you know, you know the storyline and shit, and you're like, what's going on? I don't know who these guys are, but they're fucking exciting. Watching it now, and all the bad promos people do and shit, and the I don't know what the writers or some shit, but the writers they have now are fucking horrible. They they're trying. I mean, it's PG area now. They, they, the W's like, like they want the kid friendly and shit. If you, look, if you look at the crowd, it's done but kids and their parents. The front row number kids and their parents. I don't know why they did that shit, but I guess they're trying to get more advertising money and such like that. Cause I guess for the actual area, they couldn't like a lot of people would, like drop them because they were doing that that hardcore '90s trash TV shit. But looking at looking at this PG era that, that they're right now, they need to get out this shit. And I think The Rock is gonna bring them out of that shit. Cause let me see there. Cause WWE they try to bring a whole bunch of old guys. They're bringing back Booker T on SmackDown. He's on the announcing team. Um, uh, Stone Cold is gonna be on Tough Enough. They're bringing that shit back. And um, yes, yeah, Stone Cold, Booker T, The Rock. Those those three are now back. Kevin Nash came back for the Royal Rumble. And but I don't know. Just the writers of shit. The new talent they have. They're not entertaining anymore. They're not entertaining at all. I I used to fucking love John Cena. When John, John Cena first started on SmackDown, when he was with um he was feuding with a uh, Kurt Angle and a uh, Big Show and shit, when he was rapping and shit, he was good back then. Now he's doing all this kid friendly, ooh, never give up, guys, never give up, little kids, fight on, fight on, that kind of shit. It's, it's fucking terrible. And his promos are crap. He started off with Raw last night. He started that shit off and it was fucking horrible. It's, it's not exciting. No one is exciting on there anymore. But when The Rock came out. The crowd, oh yeah, the crowd is always dead. Look at the look at the crowd doing any of the matches, always fucking dead. No one, everyone's sitting down. No one gives a shit. Then the Rock came out, and that was I never heard it. I never seen the crowd get that fucking loud in, in in years, in fucking years. I mean, from December till now, I start. I just start watching uh, WWE again. I, I, the crowd is always just looking bored. And during Divas matches, holy shit, no one is doing. I don't know who where the yellow come from. With the screaming and yelling, but when they look at the crowd, they're all just sitting on their asses. They cut it. They cut it during. They cut it. Uh, piss break time during the divas matches, cause they're all horrible. I heard most of them are just models. They're not even wrestlers. They're just models and shit. They just come around, flip around and shit. But when the Rock came out, fuck, the whole fucking the whole everybody got on their feet, and the lights went off and shit. The wrestling wrestling media sign dimmed down and shit. They had electric in there. It's like, oh, electric, electric fighting, right? Electric fighting, right? And he said, if you smell they were like, ah! People had signs and shit. Fuck, man. Fuck. Gave me fucking reminiscences and reminiscences, reminiscing and the R word and shit, man. Fuck. I hope, hope, does this, I hope that he, I hope that they're just trying to get all that shit out. Cause her, um, Linda McMahon is the reason that they're on the PGR right now. Cause she, Proposed the idea, trying to say, um, let's build up new wrestlers and get get the um the viewership of women and little kids up, and it's the same because I know the viewership between women and little kids, like they had like a digital kind of segment for like I think it's thirty one percent up this past year or some shit, but it's not entertaining no more. I mean, last 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 week on SmackDown, Booker T made an All My Children reference, 
all my fucking children. I know about two on Twitter tried typing the book he was we were talking about it. He said something about Vicky Grills like the some about Earth Kid or some shit like that. I'm like, who the fuck are these bitches talking about all my children on WWE? I know they're both so far and shit, but who the fuck watches both of them? If, if you're trying to get the age group that that know, that could catch all my children reference and on WWE, and they watch the same thing, trying to relate to those guys, you're doing something wrong. You're doing something wrong. And plus, the ratings are down. The ratings are down way low what they used to be. Back like in the 90s, late 90s, early thousands, ratings were high in the fucking sky. But now they went lower since so went PGA. No, everybody, everybody stopped watching this shit. No one cares about it. No, it's not. It's not entertainment. Just, just watch any old episode from last year. Horrible, horrible fucking shit. Shitty promos, shitty storylines. Too many pay per views. I don't know if it is it be or just too many fucking pay per views. And like the storylines, they have like storyline for like a month. Pay per views over new storyline. TNA, they have like they have they have been having the same storyline for like ten pay per views now. Like I, I mean, I don't know. Just they need they need to put more. Heart to the storylines and shit in WWE because right now, right now is nothing. Right now, it's like they don't even care about it. It's like, yeah, you're just here to wrestle and shit. But fuck, man. The Rock is back. The fucking Rock. The people's fucking champ. Next week on next week on Raw, since the word's getting out that he's back, next, next week on Raw, it's going to be like the, the highest ratings will be in fucking, I don't know, in the fucking, uh, in fucking years and shit. And the promo he cut, the legendary fucking promo he cut, he talked like, it went like 20 minutes over the limit. Raw ends at 11.05. 11.05. It was 11.20 when he got off. He was like, no, no, The Rock is back. The Rock is back. Shut up, Jeronis. The Rock is back. The Rock is back. I need to talk. I need to talk. Spread my word. Fuck, man. The Rock is back. Stone Cold coming to Tough Enough. Booker T's on SmackDown. The Rock is back, guys. He might be on SmackDown. I don't know. He ain't saying he's gonna be on SmackDown, but he might be on SmackDown because it is the Rock show. Um, yeah, but the Rock is back, and everybody can start watching this shit again. Cause like, I don't know if he's coming to wrestle or just coming to do promos and probably come out and rock bottom people and shit. But either fucking way, he's fucking back, and yeah, man, you start watching this shit again. Cause WWE is fucking desperate. For ratings, cause Lynn, I think uh, Linda McMahon is getting kicked out at the end of the month. I get now. She, I think she said she's stepping down or some shit like that. And it's fucking bullshit. But the crowd, the crowd got on their fucking feet. If you if you, if you like, look, look, look look at the old videos from uh, the old like late nineties uh, WWF and look look at the crowd. They're all like teenagers and shit, my age people and shit. But if you look at some like from last week or some shit, look at SmackDown last week. Look at the crowd, little kids. And you see who they're fucking aiming at. They have a WWE Kids magazine. I saw that shit like cartoon pictures of John Cena and shit. Bullshit. God. What happened? What fucking happened? All I'm trying to say is this PG era needs to come to an end if they want to fucking get ratings and shit. If they want to get ratings back. Because that's when that shit was on the prime. It was in mainstream. People, everybody was talking about it. Everybody was talking about it. Everybody watched it. Who didn't watch the old wrestling? Who didn't watch WWF? Attitude here. Who didn't watch that shit? When they got that PG shit and everything started getting all shitty and they split the, the shows up as people start watching it. But because you look look at the ratings, look look at it's on Wikipedia, look at the ratings for like certain episodes of, of Raw and shit. They went down and down as as the two thousands came in. Cause shit just got weak. Shit just I don't know. Storylines got shitty and the wrestlers they got they can wrestle, but they can't cut good promos. They're not electrifying, you know. They don't get the crowd hyped. The crowd is on their ass. In the World Rumble, holy shit, that was a fucking horrible World Rumble. First it was Nexus doing nothing but spawn camp in the whole fucking match. Then the core came out, they spawn camped. Then the Hornswoggle came out and he gave a little comedy routine with John Cena. It was fucking horrible. Terrible. The World Rumble, the World Rumble had nothing none exciting about it. Nothing exciting about it. Except for the end, which was fucking... Which was fucking obvious, because when he went out, he was like, oh, he's not out. He just he just fell the bottom rope. He gave a top rope to win. I was like, oh, let me guess he's going to come back in the in the end of the match and try to win. And, he, and lo and behold, he fucking did come back in the end of the match trying to win. Fucking predictable fucking shit. God. I didn't even go to school today. I didn't even go to school today. It's it's 12 o'clock. I woke up at 8.30 and was like, no, fuck this shit. I'm not coming to school. I'm not going to school. The Rock is back. It's 12 o'clock.
12 oh fucking 8. I ain't go to school today. The rock is fucking back. Fuck that shit. I let the clock say 8.30. Should I get up? No, motherfucker. The rock is back. The rock is back. The most electrifying man in all the sports entertainment. He doesn't say, he say entertainment. He doesn't say sports no more. Rustin isn't a sport anymore. But I'm just saying, The Rock is back and you guys have got to watch it again. Because now that The Rock is back, I'm hoping that he's going to bring the fucking error, this PG error to an end. Or like this kind of like gives off the impression that it will come to an end and they will go back to a new era of wrestling. Or go to a new era of wrestling. Where shit is, shit is exciting and not this fucking watered down piece of shit they have now. Because if you heard his promo, he sound, he he was talking shit, and it was nothing like what you heard for the last, last couple weeks, last couple months. The, the way he was talking, the words he was saying, they blocked this word one time, he came in, he said, fuck that shit. I'm going to say ass again, and they ain't blocking shit. They didn't block shit back. He said ass, it was like, he was like, uh, he's, what do you say, um, the pie eating, Rudy tooting, kicking, whatever, ass much, and some shit like that, but the rock is back. What am I talking for? The Rock is back. I ain't need to do The Rock is back. Go watch some old clips on YouTube. Type in The Rock. And just make a big ass playlist. Go to a quick play and shit. Just, just, with, just with that shit play. Just sit there with full screen and shit. Sit back and relax. Because The Rock is back. The Rock is fucking back. Oh, look at that fucking camera.